Thanks for inviting me to the boat party. Tequila, anyone? Maybe you would like Fireball. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to Planet Boot for episode 16 of Man Eater. It's your boy Boo repping Planet Boo and I'm ready to get back into some action. I don't know about you. All right, here we are back again chilling in the grotto. We are 100% in Sapphire Bay and Golden Shores and Dead Horse Lake and in Faltic Bayou. Which leads us to our infamy rank, which for this episode, I would ideally like to at least knock out 8, 9, and if we're lucky, 10, Captain Robert Brunlet. So Mama Maybell, a high-ranking member of the Antoloni, Antolini crime family, she has decided the ongoing shark issue has cut far enough into her family's profits and will end the issue herself. <laughs> Good luck, baby. I respect your sister, but it won't happen to me. This shark is going to be swimming with the fishes, but swimming with the fishes differently than it already does because it will be dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so the rewards for this is we get a nice little stash here and the bioelectric tail, which is the big thing I'm gunning for. And Commander Percy <laughs> Metcalf. <laughs> I got the hiccups. Armed with the latest in anti shark weaponry developed by Project Seal Sequel at Horizon Special Projects, Commander Percy has been dispatched to the area to eliminate the shark threat and recover any interesting remains. Let's see how this shark monster does against the power of science. I'm all about science, man. Please believe. So, yeah. We're going to gun for these two today. Which means that we're going to be battling. So, let's get the equips that we need. Jaw. A lot of boats. Even though I do want to try out the Shadow Teeth. I like the fact that you're pretty much getting vampire bites. And absorbing health with every bite. But, I think the big thing here is the boat damage. The quicker we knock out the boats, the less damage we can take. So we're going to roll with that. And it is pretty much tier 5. So fins. The last time we did the bioelectric fins, I believe. Man, our bone fins are still weak. Um, Let's get a... I want, I want a little bit of balance this time. Alright, so for the body... Oh, I really like the bone body, though. Bone body is good. 100% ramming damage. Like, it doesn't get any better when you're talking about fighting these boats than those bone upgrades. Okay, the, fin the, the fins... Listen, I'm just a big fan of that 100% damage resistance. But you know what? Despite the bone body being the way to go. Ooh, projectile damage resistance. I never really paid attention to that. We're going to go for... We're, we're going to give them a little bit of everything. And they're going to get some poison. They're going to get some shock. And they're going to get some some bone damage so we're gonna run with this this layout might not be optimal but i just want to switch it up to be honest with you all right so with that being said let's look into how we want to manage this so i'm not gonna worry about health too much our health is pretty good it does give us a big boost if we have this equipped but we're not going to be using sonar we're just going to be fighting so i think these three pretty much already said i think those are the way to go so we can get the best out of our protein our fat and our minerals and hopefully get that tail upgrade now things aren't going so well i might come back and switch out to the bone body and maybe the health perk and equip it but we'll see so 
let's see where we want to stage our battle scene. Sapphire Bay is going to be wide open. There's not going to be a lot of areas for cover. Not that I think we necessarily need it. But we're already in Sapphire Bay. Uh, if we see an area with a lot of people, we can just start chomping down and go from there. If we need to relocate to Golden Shores, we can do that. It's not the end of the world. All right. Let's find out where these lovely... These lovely humans are. These surface dwellers. Bombarding on our territory. Oh, this is a big sailboat. The Sea Breeze. All right, let's play around with him a little bit. Let's let's circle. Let's circle. Give him a little scare. Now we'll go for the. If you enjoy traveling at six knots, and down goes the boat. Oh, he's already dead. Got the hunters out already? Ooh, we are up to a rough start today. Tell you what, that boat, that boat ramming perk makes a big difference. I knew it made a difference, but I didn't think it made that much of a difference. Like, I'm gonna stick it out. I'm not gonna give up on it yet. I'm not gonna give up on a shadow body yet. Look at all that debris just floating to the or uh, sinking to the bottom. Oh, that, that, that. You like how I did a backflip? Kill him with style, baby. Kill him with style. Listen. Yep, now we're going back to the bone body. Will be turned into a decorative trophy for someone's rumpus room. I don't remember the last time we died. I really don't. But we're going back to the bone body. To look at Pier One is to see what happens Let's go. when now zero I'm mad. risk management practices are utilized in commercial development. Now I'm mad. You guys are making me bring out the beast shark. I didn't want to bring out the beast shark, but now I'm going to bring out the beast shark. Y'all did it to me. Y'all did it to me. Yup. Now I'm pissed off. Now I am pissed off. The juggernaut has arrived. The juggernaut has arrived. I'm so mad. I'm eating everything and right. Everybody's feeling my wrath. Yup, I am here. I am here. And I am pissed off. Make no mistake about it. Definitely not happy. Yep. 
have bow damage and the fact that you have a high percentage of knocking people off the bow. See that? It makes all the difference in the world. It, re it really does. Yeah, but I, I, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. I am coming for everybody. I don't care who you are. Your scientist will study the shark to better understand her unrepentant food. Come here. Take that boat down. Take that boat down, you go down with it. Yep, got my got my protein digestion going. Making the best of these, these proteins. Already got my special ready to go again. Divers. The shark is Torpedo? What? Torpedo? Off that boat, boy. I ain't come here to play no games. Got a bunch of dead bodies down here, though. Looking like a smorgasbord. Looking like a smorgasbord. Where you at? Where you at? As the shark descends and reevaluates the situation. Hey, buddy. Get this turtle real quick. King Mackerel. And get this last King Mackerel. Thanks for inviting me to the boat party. Tequila, anyone? Maybe you would like Fireball. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> Shots of fireballs on me all day. What? Yeah, I just basically shot him in half. Then was like, ah, I'll just let you die. And we're already almost back up to our. And activate. I don't know where you're going. If I could knock you on shore, I would love to. That boat is pretty much going down the Bayou Huntsman. Y'all really hanging on to that boat for dear life. I mean, I understand. I hope my body can digest rubber really good because I'm getting a whole lot of wet suits and flippers. mind me if I join you. You got a nice boat here. I hope you got insurance. And let's tally him up. There's number two. There's number three. Ate that one with style. And show me number four. Oh, he, he, he thinks he's gonna get away. <laughs> he ain't getting away. When a shark is All right, we're getting no distinction is made between the guilty. We're getting close to Mama, Mama Bella, or whatever her name was. She's gonna be coming out soon. I don't know where she at.
I know you guys aren't really doing anything to me, but... <laughs> I'm gonna take out your fishing boat. Come on! What's all the hunters? They give up? I don't want to bother with you, shark. That's fine. I'll go find more people. How about that? We'll go to a populated area. Come on, don't give up on the search, guys. I'm right here. I'm terrorizing your people. Here's a speedboat. Don't know if it's friendly or not. I mean, technically, is any of them? Oh, it's a ski boat. Y'all yeah, gonna have to swim faster than that. <laughs> oh, that was dope. Anybody? 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 Nope. Nope, 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 nope. But uh, I'll take this turtle. And almost a good landing. This is Chow City. Woo. I never thought I wasn't going to make it. So you know. All right, got some more humans here. Sorry to spoil your conversation. <laughs> Just skipping along. No biggie. All right, so where are these hunters at? Are they going to let me... See, I'm starting to wonder if they're even going to let us. They might not allow us to get our infamy level 8 this early. They probably require a certain percentage of the story to be completed before they let us get this far. Maybe they don't want people farming and like pretty much getting too OP. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. So let's try to get the threat up one more time and see if that's the case. Because if that is the case, then we might as well just continue on with the story and see when they open that door for us to let us uh, pick back up on our infamy skills journey. Need to find another populated area. Show me something good. On the top deck. Helicopter landing. When shark season ends, hunters return to their normal routine of bouncing checks at liquor stores. All right, where those boys at? That's a regular human. There she is. The multi-million dollar menace, Mama Maybell. Oh, she thicky. She a thicky, Mama Maybell. She got moves though. Where you at, Mama Maybell? I'm coming straight for you, and we got level third. Mama Maybell. Is that you? 
Nope. Not you. The quicker I find her, the better. Because this must be her in the catamaran. Because well, if I'm not killing her, then all these other kills aren't going towards our next infamy leader. Dang. Are you serious? Wow. There she is. She's pretty well protected, but she's pretty well protected. Let's see how she deals with this in her level 45 yacht. Yep. 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 There you go, Mama Maybell. Digs in as the conflict escalates. Thank you, Mama Maybell. All right. Oh. -ho. gonna bite by bite take you down and mission complete chomp Sending a fire brigade. What? Alright. Now we need to get some help. Nope, I did not disappear. Ever seen an EMP like this? Yo, I love, I love the power up. Oh, what? Fortunately, the shark leather market. I didn't even know my health was that low. Significant fall off since the flashy and decadent 1980s. All right, asshole, stop talking. Even a shark can't help but marvel at this consumerist babble. The shark is now a mega shark, often referred to by scientists as the 64 ounce gas station soda of large marine predators. <laughs> That's cool. So I thought Elder was the highest we can go. So this is actually a neat surprise. Mega. We are basically Megalodon status. You launch a wave of electricity inflicting four damage and putting one stun across. Stun counter on anything in its path for 30 meters. A target is stunned when it accumulates 10 stun counters. A stun counter is removed every three seconds. All right, let's see what we got here. These require those, man, 10,000 of them. 
rough, rough, rough. And what does the tail need? Fat. And I do believe we are pretty much good on these because I'm not worrying about mutagen digestion. So we have nothing else to spend these diamonds on other than this. So let's do it. But we're gonna stick with the electric fence for now. And let's see if we wanna do this tail. All right, that's proteins. All right, let's, let's upgrade this baby. Twelve thousand. We're a little bit short, but at least we got an electric tail going now. Oh, did I equip it? Yes, it is equipped. All right. Let's see how they like us now. Ooh, hoo -hoo, did you see that? Get that once we get that head upgrade you can consider that a rat you can consider it done a shark attack too often provokes port clovis locals into killing every swimming creature along the coast hunters were perfectly in place let's see how y'all like this this tail whip Distinguishing between the quick and the dip. Notice though how much stronger those boats are getting. That's why it's taking us. It was a, it's a little bit harder than it was last time. Because these boats are damn near level 50. So, but that's good to see. When I thought we were becoming too OP, they kind of was like, uh, not quite. Not without retreating for health every now and then. Yeah, because they are... It's, it's no joke. The, the the rate of fire is no joke. Definitely get some seals. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Tail whip in midair. Take that, boy. Right. 
crap, we are almost halfway there. these down cutting these boys down to shreds all right <laughs> the pure destruction in this game is I don't want to say unparalleled but I haven't played anything in recent memory that's just home of destruction like this is. All right, we're getting close. Sitting at about 60%, approaching 75%. What up, brother? Ooh, you sell those bubbles in the water. You want to talk about detail? That's all y'all got? You got another diver down here. Come on, man. Y'all got to have more than that. If I'm not done, y'all shouldn't be done if I'm not done. You know what? We probably gotta let it cool all the way down and then come back because we're not gonna send more people at us right now. Gotta let the the, uh, the threat meter pull down. Is he taunting us? I think he was taunting us. I'll never make that mistake again. I think we're done here. Port Clovis has grown more, leaving our shark to fight another day. No, the shark is coming right back for more, because we are going to get Infamy level nine before we call it a day so if that means we gotta relocate see our next mission is gonna be over here so let's tell you what let's bring the fight over here so that's just a quick swim over to the next new grotto for our next episode alright up to these beautiful waters again. Haven't been here in a while. All the nice rich people. These kind of people never step foot in Faltic Bayou. All right. Where are all mutagen? Mutagen, mutagen, mutagen. Where you go, mutagen? All right. Show me where. Show me where the people are. I know you rich people are out on your boats today. It's a beautiful day. There we go. The shark hunting sector has experienced significant growth, Punk. leaving a lot of local openings for amusement ride operators. Send the boys out. I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. Uh, where, 
your boys at? There they go. There they go. Ah, just chilling on his boat. All right. Time to fight. There we go. This is what I was looking for. A battle. <laughs> oh, I love those torpedo kills. Alright, approaching 75%. Kill a few tail whips. There we go. Cell whips are nice, but they're just slow coming out. <laughs> Whoa. All right. About 90% on it. All right. Let's get some grouper real quick. There we go. There we go. For a second, I wasn't completely sure <laughs> who was going to make it out of that one. Boats are getting. Boats are definitely getting tougher. All right, there we go, Commander Percy. The able-bodied seaman, Commander Percy Metcalf. Let's go, brother. Look at that. His boat got some type of electric force field. Looks like the bounty hunters have been watching too many Nikola Tesla documentaries. If you swim near the shark shield, you reportedly... If you if you swim near that shark shield, you're probably going to get a nice jolt of electricity as long as you stay in it. Maybe it can be destroyed. All right. Tell you what. Have you seen our body? We are electricity. Oh, what the... Hey, we need... What the... Yeah. Are they throwing explosives in people's houses? Savages. Yo, they threw an explosive on that lady's porch. All right, where is this electric boat? Here we go. Oh my, oh my. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. Let's see, well, let's get this albino group here. And we'll come back at him. Look, oh, look at that, look, on, look at that. He has some type of core radiating underneath so if we maybe take that core out we could do some damage 
Yup. All right, let's retreat. Oh, this is challenging. I like this. Definitely, we got to go underneath. Because that core, that is the source of the energy. So, I'll tell you what. We'll take out these guys. Will help us reach our special. And I really only want to go under there when we got our special activated, like now. Alright, let's see if we can take that core out. That is what I'm talking about. Alright. Let's eat all these guys for good measure, and then we can retreat. Kill them, kill them all. Kill them all. This was actually, this was, this was tough, I'm not gonna lie. This is definitely more challenging. But luckily the grotto is right here. The shark returns to the grotto Ooh. to focus on personal transformation. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to focus on a whole lot because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie even lie. That one was rough. That one was rough. No question about it. So that leaves us at the last guy, Captain Robert Runlet. Brought out of retirement to catch the shark no one else can. Captain Brunlet's service history has largely been classified, but rumors of encounters with cryptids and battles against sea monsters abound. Oh, this guy is decorated, huh? I didn't survive the battle of Innsmouth to surrender the sea to some damn shark. I understand it's just a just another shark, right? Well, I'll tell you what, brother. I'm going to get those brutal muscles that you have. Because I already got the electric head now. That I'm going to take a look at right now. This evolution releases an electric shock when you ram boats. Short-circuiting them. Ooh. The boat can't move for two seconds. Ooh, look at those eyes. What? Look at those eyes. Yo, this is crazy right now. Let's go ahead and... Actually, this takes... The tail takes fat too, right? Yes, it does, but I like these. We're gonna need all the help we can get moving forward because these boats are getting tough. No question about it. Yo, that is that is a sick upgrade. Look at this dude. All I see he looks is water. completely like out of a out of a myth. I see ya. The hunt is over, and there will this be an inevitable beast. rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. The shark is definitely a beast. All right, but that is it for episode 16, Man Eater. As always, if you're enjoying the content, having a great time here on Planet Boo. Yes, I can, and I will. <laughs> Feel free to leave a comment, L like, and of course, subscribe to stay updated and be a part of the experience. You damn guys, if you guys keep interrupting my outro, I'm gonna just run out this grotto and eat you guys all over again. All right. But until next time, folks, be easy.